Welcome to the People Connect Podcast. Your network is your net worth. Are you ready to take your life to the next level? Be prepared to leap out of your comfort zone and connect with the who's who of what you want to do. Stop, drop, and roll as we start, market, and grow the CEO of you and your host, Nichelle Womack. She will help you engage, reinvent, motivate, and reactivate your plans for success. Hey, how are you? Happy December 1st, 2017 in preparation for 2018, 31 days in this month to go back, reflect, interpret, and to rationalize some things. I'm Nichelle with 2XLwithNichelle.com. I bring you information, inspiration, and motivation to help push you out of your comfort zone, (coughs) excuse me, and into your gifts, your gifts of success, your gifts of happiness, your gifts of transition. I'm the startup CEO. I help you start a profitable business from your kitchen table. What's going on, DJ? How are you? Nice to see you. Good afternoon. I help you start a profitable business from your kitchen table. What's going on, Pops? How are you? Happy Friday, December 1st, my friends from a long time. I greatly appreciate both of you guys for jumping in, stopping in, and I pray, I pray that you have an abundance of blessings in this December 2017. 31 days you have to plan. Hopefully you've been planning before then, but if you are still planning, because there is time, there's time for you right now to plan for your 2018. Let's make this a December to remember. And how do you do that? You've had 11 months in 2017 to see what didn't work, what needed to work, what should have worked, what could have worked, why didn't it work, and what did you do to make it better or to make it worse? You know, we always have to look at both sides of the spectrum. We can't blame. We cannot blame. We cannot assume. We must interpret what happened so we can correct it and move forward for the future with positivity, with gratitude, with grace, and everything else that's tied to that mercy too amen yes mercy gotta have mercy up in there but let me tell you here if you want to make this the december to remember go back and look over those 11 months and that's what i'm doing (coughs) excuse me still fighting this little cold here that I expect to be out of my life very soon, okay? Because I'm trying to stay drugged up and and cognitive at the same time and do the things that I need to do. But if you want to make this next um, 31 days profitable, exciting, magnificent, go back and reflect over the 11 months of 2017. And this is what is on my planning calendar. Get you some ginger tea. You Oh, you that's what I'm getting ready to get right now, Pops. <laughs> yes, I'm getting ready to give me some ginger tea. How you know? Look, I love your mindset. Yes, I'm getting ready to give me that because it's just like... I'm telling you, my nose stopped up. Actually, my nose is better. My husband gave me some NyQuil. And when I take NyQuil, look, I'm like snoring my mouth mouth wide open. And it was a mess. So I'm like, baby, I can't keep doing this. So um, I'm going to get some ginger or thyme tea. Yes, I'm going to get the ginger because I like ginger better than thyme mixed in my tea. Thyme, I eat that by itself uh, fresh. I like it fresh. So we'll see. But thank you so much. I really appreciate that. So make this December something to talk about in D- in January. And you do that by reflection, going back and look at every month. And I told you I'm a planner and I plan my, 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 my success out. I plan that out on a quarterly basis. However, I do go back and dissect each month and I look at things from January that did not work, that, that I need to get rid of. And that includes some people, some things, some circumstances. Because in order to create change, you have to know what you need to omit and then the things that you need to add into your life so going into 2018 and and, you know people are like oh why are you rushing time nobody's rushing time but you must be a planner in order to be successful you have to plan things that you want to happen not that it's going to happen but you can be asserted that if you are in the mindset of planning there's a greater chance of you succeeding versus you not planning and nothing happening at all So with that being said, I go back and I'm looking at each month of December, um, the month of 2017. And I think my best month in 2017 was like around July. 
and that's when I saw really seen a flourish in my business um, and I'm telling you this year I've been online marketing for about three years but the month of July was when I started to see a surge in the things that I was putting into place that could really be profitable for me and no I'm not one of those you know people get on and they're telling you they're making you know fifty thousand twenty thousand dollars a month I'm not doing that yet but I promise you it's in the future I promise you it's on its way I was very happy to see a five grand you know coming through there in conjunction with other things that you got going on so you have to plan for the things that you want to be successful and how I did that and how I am doing that and moving towards 2018 with excitement with gratification with Thanksgiving as I say all the time Thanksgiving is just not on that day that day that we celebrated that society tells us to celebrate it Thanksgiving is every day every day that you get the opportunity to do something that you love that you enjoy and that you appreciate and so if you want to make this a December to remember, look what did work, what did not work, what you want to change, what you want to correct and what you want to get better. And in my transition into 2018, I'm seeing some things that I need to grow and to manifest in. And I'm really concentrating on those things like more emphasis in what I do. I used to do a lot of stuff for free. I used to do a lot of stuff for free, but I tell you what, free is good starting out free is good starting out but once you are start to see that your value has increased hello once you start to see your value increase you must really reflect on why it is that you're in business and I don't know about you but I personally am in business to make a profit nobody goes into business to say I'm in business everybody goes in to make a profit so you know I've already got my pricing strategy set up for next year January 2018 and carrying forth and those people that get in on the rewards that I have right now they will manifest in the blessings that they can get right now for what it is but you got to learn how to change you got to learn how to grow you got to learn how to develop and the only way to do that is change once you see what you're good at you develop in it you get better in it you invest in it and then you use it to your advantage not only to help other people but to manifest the things that you have around within yourself and I'm so grateful and so thankful for excellent coaching. I'm so grateful and thankful for really recognizing that each and every one of us has a gift. And it just really depends on what you think about yourself, what you want to do with those gifts, and how you want to see those gifts develop and manifest in the greatness that's within you. Hello, how are you? And so how do you make this a December to remember? Really, it just depends on you. What is your attitude going into a new year, a new year of Thanksgiving? What is your mindset strategically in place right now? What are you putting in place right now? See, everything that you want is just on the other side of fear. When you understand that you can have anything that you want if you set your mind to it and if you speak about it, but not just speak about it, you got to do it. Because as my friend Pop say all the time, we talk about this faith without action is dead. So I have a lot of people that say I can see it, but if you can't do it, you're not going to get it. And it's as simple as that. We have to be a manifestation of speaking things into existence, but we also must be mindful that if you do not do the work, it will not happen. So yes, you can visualize a lot of things. <coughs> And you can plan a lot of things coming into action, but you got to do the work. And so how do you make this a December to remember? Put everything, you got 31 days. And if I were you, I would plan something every day so that my 2018 can be the 2018 that has been the greatest year of my life. Perceive it, believe it, and achieve it. Yes, that's our saying all the time. Once you perceive something and you begin to believe it, um, Look at my son here. He's calling me on my other phone here. Hey, baby, mommy's on Periscope right now. I'm going to, you want to sit here and listen to my message. I'm talking about beliefs here, okay? <laughs> yes, I'm talking, I'm on Periscope right now talking about, about my beliefs. My baby's on my, there he is. Hey, say hey, boo. Uh, hey, that's my baby, my mini me right there, my college student, my student athlete. I have two of them. Yes, and both of them ballers. Look for them in the NBA very soon, very soon. <laughs> yeah, uh, so you want me to call you back? I'm going to call you, huh? Hello in Chinese. I forgot how to say hello in Chinese. You say what, well, babe? I'm going to call you back. Don't be telling no personal information. I'm going to call you back here. Konnichiwa. Okay. <laughs> my baby said Konnichiwa. Is that it? Yes, I think it is. Okay. I'm but anyway, that, huh? I'm gonna take a nap because I'm leaving at four fifty. You leaving at four fifty? You getting ready to take a nap? Uh, Babe, look, I, I can't do the, huh? I'm 
Oh, I just FaceTime you when I wake up. Yeah, FaceTime when you wake up because I'm on Periscope right now on my other phone. I love you. Sick. Huh? I'm sick. He's sick. I'm sick too. Oh, All of us sick. You sound sick. Oh, I sound sick. Yeah. <laughs> I am, baby. Uh, I know, yes. Uh, look at them. See, uh, look. That's why I love my kids. They they honest. They tell me the truth. And they just amazing children. So if you have children, love your kids too. Yes, they are blessings from God. Yes. Uh, FaceTime when I wake up. FaceTime me when you wake up. Get you some rest so you can go out there and hoop here uh, on this game. Okay. All right. I'll uh, talk to you later. Let me finish my presentation right here, okay? Uh, okay. Talk to you soon. Uh, Love you. Uh, okay. Talk to you later. Bye-bye. Okay. <laughs> Excuse me. Ooh, I, look, when somebody cough on their hands and stuff, and look, that's why I don't shake people's hands and stuff because of that. But anyway, I'm going to get better because Pops, I'm going to give me some of that ginger tea, but I wanted to just stop in to share that message with you um, about inspiration, motivation. If you are not connected with me and you like to be connected with positive inspiration and motivation and information, because I share with you how to start that profitable business. And if you speak to some of the clients that I've worked with, they will tell you that they are not where they were and they are in a different place in their lives, in their business. Because as I inform you, I inspire you and I motivate you to push yourself because sometimes we get stuck <clears throat> We get comfortable and we start accepting where we are because of out of comfort, you know, and God has a destiny for each and every one of us to excel, for us to reach that next level, to really be blessed and manifest in all of his gifts. And see, I speak about a manifestation all the time. You may hear that come out of my mouth a lot. Why? Because I serve a God and I read those words and he tells me manifestation is mine and it's yours too. Hey, how you doing? The official big pug coming in, popping up those love hearts. I greatly appreciate you. Thank you so much for that. That yellow love. Thank you all so much for coming in and pumping that up and so when you come to my message you're going to hear faith because that's what i stand on i are the righteous shall never be forsaken in the name of jesus and that's what i believe that has been my blessing in rearing my children you know i'm not the perfect mom but i'm a great mom and you can ask my boys they'll tell you mama don't play when it comes to her babies <laughs> yes yes my hair built like a, a wee remote where does yours build like the official big pun you crazy you come in here sharing my scope and then go sit up here and talk about me at the same time look people always talk about things that they admire okay that they want to do and be look okay big pun big pun you making some money big pun <laughs> yes lord i'll joke with you too look all right blessings and peace unto you a we remote that mean i'm getting paid because we getting paid all right yes lord no problem because see when you start talking about people you better have something to back it up with that's one thing i don't need to do all right is talk about people because there's confidence all over me baby through me all right in the name of jesus that confidence that flows heavily not from man but from god do you hear me all right so you don't need to be worried about when people come behind you and talk about you because everybody always gonna talk about you your haters gonna stay in your comfort zone your haters gonna stay around you to see what you doing what can they do and how can they get better yes no problem in the name of jesus so i'm getting ready to go get my ginger tea and i wanted to stop in just to share with you about how you can make this month great thanks for your words of encouragement dj you are amazing and i thank you for being a part of my space lady ward welcome thank you so much for coming in and we all can be great we all can be great it ain't no difference me between me you uh steve harvey oprah winfrey bill gates none of us ain't none of none of nothing is different except mindset and when you change your mind you change your life when you change your thoughts you change your bank account and it's as simple is that <coughs> you could be anything that God says that you are God bless you pops thank you so much too <laughs> I hope this ginger tea work but I'm, I, I'm gonna get some chicken noodle soup too can you ask me a question uh Kong Foods I don't know go ahead go ahead what you got what you got coming come on what, what what's the question come on now tell me what is it as long as you respectful because I will block you because it ain't nothing but the goodness of Lord up in here all right what's your question come on come with me when i get famous can we get married <laughs> i look it was that polygamy to be married to more than one man see i already have two husbands one of them is my earthly husband here and then the other one is my imagination husband okay so i can't go beyond that but i greatly appreciate you giving me that compliment that's an amazing compliment and i take it fully with encouragement and you ain't got to be famous to have a woman of your dreams who told you that 
You ain't got to be famous to have the woman on your dream. Add some lemons and honey. I'm going to do that, Pops. Yes, 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 yes. I already bought the lemons. I got the honey because I take a teaspoon of honey every day. So, I don't know. I don't never get sick. I don't know. My husband gave this to me. I mean, he come in the house coughing. He had been traveling, coming in the house coughing and stuff. And I'm like, oh, mm, germs. I sprayed Lysol everywhere and still got it. So, look, I don't know. But at least my, my stomach was a little tumbly the other day. But I didn't got that under control, praise God, because I can't do the tumbly stomach. Mm -mm, no, I'm not a nice person when I'm sick anyway, but when that happens, mm -mm, no tumbly stomach and <laughs> walk around doing the holidays. Yes. Mm -mm. So, yes, you ain't got to be famous to have no uh, no woman in your dreams. Don't, don't let nobody fool you and tell you that. You just go out there and be who you need to be and don't be sitting up there searching for no one. And oh, Lord, oh, Lord, am I wearing socks? Why? Why? <laughs> no, I ain't wearing no socks. Nobody wear no dang on socks. <laughs> Lord Jesus, am I wearing socks? Friday fanaticals, okay? Yes, Lord, that must be one of them freak feet, uh, uh, feet freaks out there. Lord, have mercy. Well, you gonna buy me some? <laughs> okay, you gonna buy me some? Jesus, hallelujah, in the name of Jesus, Lord. This lady, watch where you going, lady. She sitting down on her phone and ain't watching where she going. And you hit my car. But anyway, alrighty then. So that is it for you today. Thank you, Pops, for all the suggestions. DJ, make this a December to remember. It's okay to laugh and have fun. I'm telling you it is. It's okay to laugh and have fun. Why? Because tomorrow is not promised. Life is short only if you're not living. And that's why you must live every day. Not for somebody else, but for yourself and for the name of Jesus Christ. That's who I live for every day. For those two people that call me mama. For that magnificent man that called me wife. And for the amazing father that sits high and looks low. That calls me his child yes a princess i am and you are king queen yes we are by descending by grace by mercy by chance yes you are you could be whatever you want to be and i choose to be a princess yes i do a queen the most high in the name of jesus so i gotta go but i will talk with you tomorrow don't forget what i said make it a great month and do everything that you love make certain that you reap the rewards of this year that you can take them into 2018 and they can be profitable that you can be happy and that you can have a magnificent life you're entitled to that yes you are all right talk to y'all later bye bye thanks for the hearts replay viewers thanks for coming in and sharing the message and um that's it bye